We've seen how we can group tasks by a particular criteria that will enable us to use our tasks and manage our tasks much more easily. Now instead of grouping, we could leave the tasks in their current location and actually just get Microsoft Project to highlight the ones that meet our set criteria. The highlighting options are on the View ribbon. So we're going to use the My Bedroom Working file again. And you'll see on this little data group, as well as the grouping, the sorting and the filtering option, there's a little highlight. And in the drop down, you can see we can highlight all active tasks, all completed tasks, all critical tasks, tasks in a particular date range, incomplete tasks, late tasks, milestones, summary tasks, tasks within a range, so from one ID to another, tasks with estimated durations, or using resource dot dot dot, allowing you to choose which resource. Well, let's say let it highlight late tasks. And you can see all the tasks that are late then get highlighted. So effectively, all this prep room, they're all late, which is then knocked on the whole project to being late. So in the filter highlight option, we could then choose critical. You can see lots of tasks are critical, and we've yet to discuss critical tasks. Completed tasks, and then it only highlights the ones that have been done. Those are the ones with the blue tick on the left. Now we can actually clear the highlighting altogether, or we can add a new highlight filter of our own. And then we give our filter a name. So I'm going to call mine zero cost. And add in the criteria for this highlighting. So the criteria is that the actual cost is equal to equals and then zero. Now I can add further criteria. There's an option here for and and or to add a further criteria. So it could be that you want to add in multiple criteria for your highlighting. Make sure you give it a name. Make sure you choose show in menu and then it will be available to choose. I'm going to save that. Let's just tick show related summary rows. So then it will highlight any of the summary rows that fall into this category. Save. And then in the highlighting option, I can see my custom highlight, which is zero cost. And because we have no costs associated yet, when I click zero cost, everything gets highlighted. So all the tasks and their associated summary tasks are highlighted. Let's go back to no highlight and everything is removed. So the highlight feature really is quite useful because it keeps everything in the same order. It doesn't change them around, which grouping does. It doesn't remove any from view, which filtering does. It keeps them all there in the right order, but simply highlights them so that you can spot them and know why you're spotting them. You can also create your own custom highlight options, which at the moment ours doesn't do anything but highlight everything. But as we progress and build up, that highlight option will still be there to be able to allow us to filter out tasks that have a zero cost. Should you wish to change the highlighting color from the bright yellow that we get at the moment, so when I choose highlighting, let's go for incomplete tasks. All the incomplete tasks get a yellow background. Should I want to change that formatting to something much more amenable or presentable or less bright, then I go to the Gantt Chart Tools Format and Text Styles. Now in the Text Styles dialog box, I don't want to change all, I just want to change the highlighted tasks. So I choose highlighted tasks, and I can see here the background color is that bright yellow. So let's click the drop down and let's go for a light orange. Now I also have the option to change the typeface, font, size, etc. But I don't really want to do that because they'll stand out even more. I just want to change the background color. So let's say OK. And you can see the highlighted cells are now that sort of lightish orange color. So that's under text styles, highlighted tasks and the background color. I'm going to go for a light green. Orange isn't very nice. There we go. And when you turn the highlighting off, the color goes. And when you choose another one, it remembers the color you've chosen as the highlight color. So that's under text styles on the Gantt Chart Tools Format ribbon.